Well, right, you probably heard that Donald Trump is uh, bringing in some big people in his campaign to look more presidential. He's planning a big foreign policy speech next week. Also scripted, that would be on profit, also very presidential. So he's obviously trying to change his image. Along comes my good uh, friend, she's helped us out so much over the years, psychotherapist, Dr. Roy Ludwig. She's got a great book out in which she sort of talks about these issues in a, in a tangential sense, that your best age is now. Now, it's namely geared to women. And I asked the good doctor <laughs> why it's only targeted at chicks. She said she was offended by that, <laughs> but we're going to move on. Um, Donald Trump is kind of doing what a lot of yeah. your women who've talked to you and what sought guidance in big life changes have addressed, changing an image. Easier well, said than done. Right. So the interesting thing about midlife is that what we didn't know before it was a time of you can't change. What is right? midlife, by the way? Midlife, I think, now is 40 to 62. And once you consider yourself old age is basically when you've left midlife and nobody wants to consider themselves yeah. as part of old age. So I think people are considering themselves younger longer, which is positive, and identifying themselves as entering into midlife much, much later. There was a study where women identified themselves as entering midlife at 53. Really? Which in the 70s passages, which talked about midlife crisis, was 35. So there's so really everything. Oh, you get into some the women right. that women particularly have that so, when but, their kids are growing up, they're out of the house, and then they're wrestling with these issues. But I want to bring the current events, Donald. if you don't mind. Right. Donald Trump is wrestling with an issue. What got him this far mm -hmm. is his impolitic, in your face. Right. Some would even say his critics say crass mm -hmm. style. So he's trying to tone that down. Mm -hmm. um, can he make that move? Can the people you have helped? Um, make that move? How do they make that move? Well, first of all, it comes from desire. So you have to want to change. You choose a role model. Who do you want to be like? And then you create a path. But if everyone knows you as one type of person, right. how do you... Everyone knows Donald Trump as People this. forget. Yeah. You know, people really do forget, and they will base their opinion based on their most current experience with you, both positive and negative. So if Donald from here on in presents himself as presidential and somebody who could be trusted and relied on to not be impulsive in a dangerous way, that I think people would be inclined well, to believe in him. talk about people, women have fallen to traps. They're, they're all mm -hmm. traps. They're all like right. psychosis, whatever you want to right. describe it. He seems to fall back into when he says, I'm not going to call names anymore. So when he won New York last yeah. week, I remember it was like Senator Cruz, it was yeah. Governor Kasich. Yeah. And 12 hours later, it was lying to well, I, I know I, it's some people yeah. can't help themselves. Well, I think Donald Trump wins very well. So we saw when he won in New York, he was able to be presidential. Right. And now that he's in the game again, he just has too much fun creating names that stick but and he likes to win. he's 69 years old, so yeah. he's outside that, that Age-wise, but, well, you know, in terms of his mindset, he's very kind of energetic. He's very he passionate. flexible because the rap against older people if is If he not. wants to be, and I think it's dangerous to consider people inflexible at any age. As long as somebody wants to change, as long as we're alive, we certainly can. And we can become more agreeable and conscientious as we age as well. I don't know that Donald wants to change. He may want to change his image because I think he likes who he is and the people who like him like how he is. You just tell people it's okay to get older. It's okay to change. It's okay to refocus. Well, more it's than okay that, to experiment. more than that, that there's information they weren't told. And so you need to get the positive information. The but you inform also mentioned, you know, by name, but a lot of the people you've worked with, a lot of your clients. I, I mentioned the clients that have inspired me, a compilation of people I've worked so with over the 20 say, years. Hey, <laughs> no, because I make sure that their identity and sometimes oh, even right. their sex was changed so that um, no one would know who they are. Well, I want to get into that a lot more. The book is very good. Your, your best age is now. We're going to be talking to her a little bit more on my Fox News show later today. Some really fascinating stuff that men could learn from, too. Of course, she doesn't address that because <laughs> she doesn't think we need the help. Do we, guys? You guys are perfect. Exactly. <laughs>